Alrighty, everybody, it's the dog out. Welcome back to Gran Turismo 5 once again. This time, this custom race video features pretty much all of the GT Academy 2012 cars. All the GT Academy 2012 Nissans that contested in the 2012 Gran Turismo Academy races. Unfortunately, I never got to participate in any of these as I didn't get a PS2 until 2015, long after the GT5 servers went offline, halfway through 2014. So unfortunately, I never got any of these cars officially until the end of last year when I was able to use the GT5 garage editor to hack them all in. And also got the secret options enabled so I can choose the opponents that I wanted. And so we are at Twin Ring Motegi, which of course is a DLC track. And let us start up the race now. 10 laps. Off we go as soon as the acceleration begins. Driving the GE Academy Special, which I have no direct clue on about, but it's not usable as an opponent, but it can be hacked in and you can use it, no worries. Come on, 370Zs and slow ones there on the road. Oh, we're going at 70 I can't help that I'm using sports tyres in this race. I think I've bought racing tyres for a little later. Hey there, it's down the road! Don't know how very... I don't know if this was even DLC at all. It might have been, but I don't know. Anyway, it's not actually DLC. I think it's just Maven. Playing for the actual GT Academy? I don't know, this information on the cutting room floor is a bit absurd, so I'm not 100% certain what's more accurate. Well, meanwhile, I still can't catch the cheap machine that's leading. Really should have put race rubber on. See, don't know if you can actually see it, but there's the GD Academy logo on the bonnet and GD Academy 2012 from the rear license plate. Here's a grey version of the same car, and third. This is a 370Z tune car. R spec V standard version of the tune of the uh, car which has the Gran Turismo windshield decal and on the bonnet GE Academy PS3 and another 370Z. There's two different versions. There's this one which has GE Academy 2012 on the rear license plate and GE Academy on the bonnet. Then there's this version that has 370Z on the license plate, but it also has the GD Academy decal on the bonnet. Don't know if you can see the 370Z there properly, it's too difficult to see here. Yeah. I believe this, this particular version is only available in blue, whereas the one with the GD Academy 2012 license plate can have different colours. Another GD Academy, this is the GDR. This is GDR Black Edition Normal and not the tuned car. Similarly in appearance, I guess. Also a red one contesting. This is 
Scott Island GTR R32 Spec 294 Junior Academy Edition. We'll get to see some more of these Nissan GTRs and Scott Island GTRs in the future of race. Here's the Nissan 370Z. This one is not a tuned version of the car. Most notably because it doesn't have the bonnets. Well, it does have the bonnet decal on it, yeah. There's no spoiler on the back compared to the two versions of the tuned car. I believe one, one says GT Academy and the other says GT Academy version. That's mainly another reason, another way you can tell the two of them apart. Here's an R34 Skyline GTR V Spec 2. The colour looks like it's got a purple tint, but it's actually silver. And we've got Miss and Sylvia S15 GD Academy Edition. Of course, the normal version of S15 Miss and Sylvia can be racing on the side, but the GD Academy version cannot be. And the Miss and Leaf G GD Academy version. Interestingly, you can actually hack this car in and use it because this version is not not coded as DLC, whereas the uh, original model is. And the only electric vehicle in the GT Academy 2012 cars for some weird reason. Oops. All right, back to me now. Where am I? Lap three. About 1 minute 50.664. Don't think that will be fully visible due to the oversaturated colours. I've tried everything to fix that and just can't. Anyway, lapping the missing leaf now. I don't think I'll be lapping every car, but I'll probably just lap a few of the slower ones. The two black edition chain cars are just too fast. I did tune this car up, by the way. I just I should have put the racing tyres on, I don't know why I didn't. Just follow me around for a full lap. Interior views for you. A little Nissan racing suit. advantage that the black edition tune card has. But it looks like everyone else is on sports cards, like the Spec V GD Academy that's running here. Okay, the ones with the 2012 license plate and the 370Zs have now moved up the order, meaning the other two have dropped down the order. I 
let me know in the comments if you can, because I know we might actually try. Yeah, there's three summoners there, that's a cool BR32 just yet. Surely you can catch up. Here comes me. Pass on the race later. Make me. Bloody slow ups. As you can see, the Nissan Leaf is the only other car from different tyres on comfort mediums. See the majority of the field trying to lap this car. Come on, you're the slowest car in the field, make some rain! So let me know in the comments if you have played the, or if you did play the 2012 GD Academy back when it was available to play. Me again. Where am I running at the moment? Okay, just started lap 7 and are about to come around and lap some more of these opponent cars. Hey man, get out of my way on the bloody race leader! Yeah, good, you go off now. What you get for not getting out of my way? Down here, okay. Going around the 
left and this is linked again. Come on, Abby White, that's it. Thank you. Unless it's a female driver, and I really hope it is. So in that case, out of her way.
too much pasta cars, but it doesn't matter because the race is over and the computers never listen to the to the checkered flag rule, so therefore they should be disqualified for illegally passing the race leader under the checkered flag rule, but that is the end of the race of course. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to leave a like. Be sure to comment and to stay in contact with this channel. Be sure to press the big shiny subscribe button. If the controls will work from over there. But until next time, this is the Doggy Out saying have a great day and we shall see you again.